Assalamu alaikum ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another lecture of discrete mathematics. Now in the past lecture, we discussed the principle of quadrivium and how numbers are read or studied in the raw form from arithmetic to numbers in space, which was geometry, to numbers in time, which was music, and then finally to numbers in both space and time, which was astronomy, and together forming the quadrivium. Later on, we discussed the concept of zero and some of the fundamental properties of zero. Now, we got stuck at this one component, which why is x divided by zero not a number? So this particular lecture is really dedicated to this particular question. Why is x zero not a number and what is not a number? Well, to begin with, let's start with the concept of division. What is division? Well, in some sense, division is repeated subtraction. So let's take 15, for example. So what do I need to do? What happens if I repeatedly subtract 5 from 15? Well, if I divide 5, if I divide 15 by 5, well, I have to subtract 5 three times to make it equal to 0, right? So the first time I've subtracted, 15 reduces and you get 10. The second time I've subtract 5, 10 reduces and I get 5. And the last time, 5 reduces to a 0. So I have to subtract 5 three times, which reduces to a 0. Essentially, 15 divided by 5 is 3. Let's do the same thing using a 1 and a 0. So this time, let's repeatedly subtract 0 from a 1. Now, interestingly, unlike last time, whenever I was subtracting something, the original number reduced here, I can subtract zero infinity number of times and one wouldn't reduce. So does that mean one divided by zero is infinity? Well, let's think about it for a second. We just said that one divided by, we just proved one divided by zero is infinity and the whole question really started from x divided by 0 is not a number. So if x is 1, 1 divided by 0 is not a number. So is infinity not a number? Is it the same? Is it not equal? Is it, what is it? So let's, let's, let's try option number 2. So in option number 2, what we're going to do is we're going to approach 0 from a value like 1. So you have, and, and here we're going to assume x is 1, okay? So what we're going to do at the remainder where we have a 0, we're going to go from 1 and we're going to go slowly and slowly to a 0. So in other words, the denominator value is going to reduce and we're going to see how does the outcome come about. So if x is 1, then 1 divided by 1 is 1. 1 divided by 0 0.1, see, we're reducing the denominator till it approaches 0. So 1 divided by 0 0.1 is 10. Hmm. 1 divided by 0 0.01 is 100. 1 divided by 0 0.001 is 1,000. And I guess you see the drift here. 1 divided by, you know, 10 to the power 9 is 1 billion. And that's a really, really small number. So in some sense, 1 divided by 0, that approaches infinity. Wait a minute. We ended up at the same space. So, okay, that's fine. Let's try... Another number, let's change x. Let's make x 2. Let's see where that goes, okay? And we'll follow the same process with the denominator. So 2 divided by 1 is 2. 2 divided by 0.1 is 20. 2 divided by 0.01 is 200. 2 divided by 0.001 is 2,000. And, you know, 2 divided by 1 in preference power minus 2 billion. Just a second. That means 2 divided by 0 is also approaches infinity. So here's the thing. So if 1 divided by 0 approaches infinity and 2 divided by 0 approaches infinity, does that mean 1 over 0 and 2 over 0 are the same? Does that mean 1 is equal to 2? Wait a minute. Something did not go right. Okay. So, so let's move ahead. You know, Let's try option number 3. This time, let's do something together. Let's move. Uh, let's reduce the denominator approaching zero each time you know we bring it closer and closer to zero from two different ways 
one from the positive side and one from the negative side, okay? So let's, you've already seen the positive side. Let's say x is one, and let's see what happens when I go and reduce the denominator from minus one and bring it down to zero. So one divided by minus one is minus one. One divided by minus 0.1, right? See, from minus one, we ended up at minus 0.1. It's very close to zero. It's minus 10. 1 divided by minus 0.01 is minus 100. 1 divided by minus 0.001 is minus 1,000. Wait a minute. 1 divided by minus 1 into plus 1 is minus 1 billion. Wait, and minus 1 into 10 is 9 is very, very close to zero. But we see an interesting trend here. We see that 1 divided by 0 approaches negative infinity this time. It actually approaches negative infinity. Whereas we see that for positive values, when you're approaching one, when you're approaching zero from a positive value, we saw that you know it came down to positive infinity. So what is it really? Is one divided by zero negative infinity? Or is one divided by zero positive infinity? In fact, it's interesting. You have you're doing something. And depending on which direction you take, either you approach the one end of the spectrum or you approach the other end of the spectrum. In fact, there is no distance larger than positive and negative infinity, right? These two together, I mean, it's not like a number is 2.1 or, you know, or it's 1.9. You know, an answer is not like, well, I don't understand. Is it 23 or is it 24? It's not like that. There is no distance larger than positive, than the distance between positive and negative infinity. Okay, either of them are going on the other end of the screen. And that's what that exactly is undefined. That's exactly what Mathematicians say, well, it's just not a number. It's something, it's undefined. It's just not a number. Because from either end, we've seen either it goes to the positive infinity or it goes to the negative infinity. Whatever it is, it's just not a number. And that's what mathematicians say. X divided by zero is undefined. Okay? I want to thank Eddie Wu for his brilliant explanation in helping me develop this lecture. In the next lecture, we're going to talk about why is x to the power 0 equal to 1. Thank you very much. I hope you like these lectures.